Hey guys, so it's been a long time since I've done a video and I'm gonna say the channel's not dead I've just been working on projects for this 3 series right here. So if you take a look under here I got some scrap metal some 16 gauge and 8 inch thick metal because I want to learn how to weld and I can do my subframe reinforcement and my rear trailing arm pocket reinforcements. So that's what I've been up to tonight. I will preface this, I am not a welder, I just learned how to weld. So my first project to weld was actually this cart right here. You'll see on some parts of it, it's actually like decent welding. Like this corner right here. I got good penetration, it looks fine. But then you'll also see like these corners where I had to end up filling a big gap and it just kind of looks a bit uglier. So again, this is sturdy, it's not going to fall apart but it's not the prettiest thing. Anyway, I will paint it and then it won't really matter at that point. And I also have to figure out what to do for a top because this is gonna be a cart and also a working welding table because this isn't so ideal because I can't really clamp to anything besides on this corner right here. Anyways, um, so what I was working on tonight is really practicing some thin sheet metal welding. So I was doing the plug welds and the stitch welds so I can do the BMW subframe plates to the BMW body and that turned out all right I'm gonna still do more because I have a bunch more pieces cut out and I'll just practice some more and more but if we take a look at that you can see so this is the plug weld side it seems pretty decent in my opinion and this is the back of a stitch weld and this is the front of a stitch weld so what I do is really like shoot and then drag a little bit, shoot and drag a little bit, shoot and drag a little bit. And I'm gonna do this at like a inch at a time, just so I don't burn through and put too much heat through. Uh, but honestly, doing the stitch welding way, it seems okay and I don't think I would burn through anyway. Um, I was trying to focus on getting more heat like this throughout instead of doing this. But again, it's going to take more practice. This is not a burn through. This is just a bead. And then I have another bead on the other side. So it just kind of looks weird. But again, like this looks a lot better in my opinion. So like if I did this all the way throughout, I'd be very happy. This is, I still think, okay right here. But again, less heat than this. But this right here is just kind of too cold in my opinion. Um, and then this is like the other side of the plug welds. So you can see the penetration and I'm pretty happy with the penetration and what that I got with the plug welds here here's another plate that I did I don't, I don't know if it's the first or second one but like that I'm pretty happy with so if I can do that all the way through I'll be good and yeah so like that is what I want again it's gonna take more practice and I also did a thicker eighth inch to the thinner 16 gauge this is a lot harder because you kind of have to focus on the thicker metal so you don't burn through the thinner metal. Um, so I really screwed this one up a lot. Uh, I kept on burning through the plug weld. Like, I kept on burning through the eighth gauge, or the eighth inch, in the plug weld. So I kind of turned the voltage down when I was doing the stitches right here. And then I found out that I turned down the voltage too much because you can see this is kind of like... Uh, balling up which means it's getting zero penetration you can see here it's a little bit flatter and this is when I turn the voltage back up so when I do this again I'm gonna practice once more with high voltage and just working on my like welding speed that way I don't burn through the top I also got a since it's so thick you I can't really see the heat that I'm putting in so what I'm gonna do is once I'm done with this, I'm going to take a cutoff wheel and cut it in half, and hopefully I can see how well, like penetration, how well this penetrated, like through here. Um, again, this is oh, this is a better example of how you can see it's balling up, and that just kind of means I don't have the right heat, so I needed to turn up the heat, which is turning up voltage and maybe even turning up wire speeds, so I can do this. Uh, I watched a couple videos, and what I ended up doing is I just kind of like favored the thick side with the wire and then just went along one inch at a time and that kind of alleviated most of the uh, heat going to the thin stuff but as you can see right here I mean I'm getting plenty of uh, heat in there and it doesn't start off cold that's attack 
but it starts off like that. So I'm very happy with that. So I kind of just need to do more practice. But anyways, quick little video showing you guys what I'm up to. And again, just learning how to weld, so take it easy on me. Thanks again for watching.